Welcome to the advanced exercises to improve the strength and function of your lungs. Again, I'm using a mat on the floor, so please grab a mat or a towel and let's get started. The first exercise we're doing is again on the hands and the knees. So we want the hands directly under the shoulders, the knees are just hip width apart. Spread the fingers, middle finger pointing forwards, thumbs pointing in towards each other. And see if you can lengthen through those arms and just draw the belly button in a little, little bit. So from here, we're going to take a breath in. And on the exhale, we arch the back up, tuck the head under, squeeze the belly. And then breathe in, we go the other way. So loop the head, loop the throat, loop the bottom. And exhale, we draw up and in. So keep those arms working as we move. Inhale, lift, look up, hold the breath in, squeeze the back. And exhale, drawing up, lifting, one more each way. Inhale, lift, look up, hold the breath in for a moment. And then exhale, squeeze. And then come back to neutral. All right, so the next one, we wanna bring the knees together. And then we take the arms slightly wider than the shoulders in front of us and spread the fingers still. So what we wanna do with this one is we're gonna drop the chest towards the floor. As we do that, just make sure your bottom doesn't drop back. So we wanna keep the bottom above the knees as we drop the chest. So we take a breath in and exhale, the chest drops down. Now keep your elbows off the floor so the arms are straight. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, squeeze the chest down. Inhale, let's do six little bounces. So one, two, three. Try to look forwards, four, five, and squeeze down, really throw the chin forward so you're looking as best you can in front of you. And then walk your hands in, and we curl up into child's pose to rest. So with child's pose, we try to get the forehead to the mat, the hands down beside the feet. If it's a struggle to get your head to the floor, then maybe one fist on top of the other fist and the head can rest on top of those. And then when you're ready, just slowly curling up through the spine, coming back up. Excellent. So the next exercise we're going to do on our belly. So we're going to lie down on the mat, like so, and we're going to take the arms out in front of us. So arms, oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. So arms in front, lovely. So with this one, we just start really simply with a forehead on the mat, and what we're going to do with the head on the floor is just exhale, pull the fingers back. Inhale, exhale. But we're going to do that with the head on the floor. All right, so I'm going to be talking into the mat. So just do your best to follow along. So take a breath in. Exhale, pull the fingers back. Breathe in, flatten them. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, flatten. And let's do eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Good stuff. All right, so let's keep the hands there. This time we're gonna lift the head, the chest, and the arms off the floor. So we're gonna go up and down a few times, and then we're gonna stay up, and then we're gonna do the wrists again. All right, so squeeze your legs together gently. Squeeze the arms forward, take a breath in, and exhale, lift the arms, the head, and the chest. Inhale, come back. Exhale to lift. So squeeze the lower body, feel the upper body lift. One more. Inhale down. Exhale, we lift. Now stay there, breathe in. Exhale, pull the fingers back. Inhale, point. Exhale. Inhale, eight faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. And then gently coming down, bring your arms down beside you, let your head go, and just let your feet relax, your legs relax. Feel the breath coming into the back of the body. Soften as you breathe out. So quite strong in the upper body. Again, the lungs working strongly with the upper body there to get the lungs working. Feeling, you might notice, you can really feel the chest expanding quite a bit in that position. All right, so let's come up onto the hands and knees. We're going to come into down dog. So down dog is a great exercise to strengthen through the arms, also to strengthen into the belly. So we watch, again, just this tabletop position to start with. This time though, we want the hands just a little bit forward of the shoulders, and we tuck the toes into the floor with the feet about hip width wide. So take a breath in, and as you exhale, take the bottom back, look back between the legs, and then see if you can press your heels towards the floor. We're just breathing and holding, lengthening through the spine, squeezing into the belly, breathing in and out, and then coming down. Good. All right, so we can just again rest in child's pose for a moment. Take a few deep breaths here. Good, and then slowly curl up. We're gonna do one more really strong exercise for the lungs, again, using down dog. So if you found down dog really challenging in that position, then you can just keep doing down dog again through this next one or you can take it to the next step. So there's a certain breathing strategy that we're using for this one. So I'll show you, we come back into down dog. We're gonna breathe in here and then breathe out. We breathe in, come into a plank hold. So push through the heels, pull up through the arms, squeeze the belly. And on the exhale, we're gonna drop the hips down and look up towards the ceiling. Now as we're doing this, we're pushing through the heels, squeezing into the bottom, and lengthening and lifting through the chest. Don't let the knees come to the floor. Keep pushing through the heels. Then we come back into down dog without breathing in. And we breathe in, come into the plank. And then exhale. Don't breathe in, but back to down dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale. Squeeze the bottom. Don't breathe in, come to down dog. Breathe in to plank. Exhale. One more. Don't breathe in. Breathe in to plank. And then exhale. And then let's breathe in, just come back to down dog. Hold a couple more breaths here. Squeeze into the belly, lengthen through the arms. And then gently bring your knees down, walk them through, and we can lie down on the back and have a rest. So it's very important that we do rest afterwards, giving the body time to assimilate the changes, also to catch our breath, and we just observe how the body feels after that. So hopefully you're feeling a lot stronger the lungs, you can just feel expanding with each breath in and then contracting with each breath out. Lots of vitality and strength and openness in the chest. Good, all right, and when you're done, when you're ready, just grab the knees, lift the head, rock and roll, along the spine a couple of times and we can come up to a seated position and just take a moment here 
Again, just feeling tall in the spine, warmth and strength in your body. And we finish with a couple of breaths, so breathing in, arms rise up, exhale, just one more, big breath in, and exhale, hands to the chest in prayer pose. And thank you so much, enjoy the rest of your day.